Hello, I'm Jashikins, and welcome to my next video in my Oscar nominations 2015 vlog series. Now, I skipped a couple categories since last time. That's just because I'm not really familiar enough with enough of you know the movies. So I'm just like I can be blabbering on. But yeah, uh, and I just feel totally useless, like I'd just be spitting out information saying, oh, I like this actor or this actress, and we wouldn't really be doing much. So I chose a category that it seemed like I could talk a bunch about, or at least more than the others. So we'll be talking about cinematography today. And the nominations in this category or are Birdman or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance. And uh, I should have done this as a warning beforehand, but I'm terrible on names, so if I mispronounce these names, please tell me, and I'm fucking sorry for, for any mispronunciation. Uh, let's start again at that. Birdman or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance. The guy who did the cinematography is Emmanuel Lubezki. Next is the Grand Budapest Hotel. The guy who did the cinematography is Robert Yeoman. The next one is Ida. Then the people who did the cinematography are Lucas Zhao and Rizard Lenz. Is Wesky. Uh, next is Mr. Turner, and the guy who did the cinematography is Dick Pope. And finally, Unbroken, and the guy who did the cinematography is Roger Deakins. Again, if I mispronounce that, any of those, please tell me. Just, just like comment below. You can please at least be polite. <laughs> and. I have not seen Ida, Mr. Turner, or Unbroken, but I have seen Birdman or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance and The Grand Budapest Hotel. And I, out of those two, I would actually really, it's hard because with The Grand Budapest Hotel, everything in that movie just looks fucking amazing. It's like, there's this crazy ass story and then it just looks beautiful. All of the sets, it's like just, it, it's awesome and beautiful to look at. However, Birdman, it's, it does the single shot thing and I, <laughs> and it does change his shot from time to time, but just, you know, how it's able to use that artistic thing and actually make it enjoyable because I heard that they were using this gimmick and I was like, it, 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 it's an artistic thing. It could very well fail, but at the same time, you know, it has a small chance of, you know, actually doing good and it really does good. Like there will be people walking down, like walking down a hallway that you're falling before and selling the camera maybe stops or reverses directions or makes a turn that the character you were following before didn't and it starts to pick up on a new character and then you go to what that character was doing. Yeah, it was, that was very good and <coughs> I would say that I would maybe want Birdman to win more just because that artistic thing actually worked and <laughs> I'm really I guess more critical of artsy films just because some of them a lot of them just seem to be really full of themselves going oh where I'm so great for doing this and Birdman cinematography worked. It actually helped the, st helped the story and didn't take me out of it. So I would say Birdman above the Grand Budapest Hotel, but if the Grand Budapest Hotel wins, 
I will not be sad at all. I'll be like, yeah, that that was a good win. So, those of you who have seen all the movies, or, you know, maybe saw one's neither Birdman or the Grand Budapest Hotel, but the other three, or if you've seen, you know, the ones I actually saw and none of the others, you know, please comment below and let me know of which nominee you would like to win for this category. And again, at least tell me if I fucking mispronounced anything. And I have been Jashikins owner at jashikins.blogspot.com. If you go to my blog, you can see the other vlogs in this video series. I, I, I think that the Walking Dead vlog review of this week's episode will be out before this. I, maybe. Maybe you'll view this in the few seconds that it's not up. I don't know. <laughs> and I have a bunch of other things I'm working on bringing up, like um, at all the chapters of the recent section of SNN will be collected into one post, and then I'll be working on another in-between mini-series, and I have like three ideas. I'm like, I want to do this, and like I should do this one so to break off what I've been doing before, but you know. Yeah, I, if I guess I'm still confused, I might let you guys vote on my blog for which one to do. And if you go to my blog and you go to, and you see the sidebar thingies on there, I am, you'll see links to where else I am on the web and you know, go there to one of those places and say hi. And also on the sidebar, you can see my Rhine shop. You can see a dragon that, you know, if, you suggest a name and you and I actually choose it that you can advertise your blog, Etsy shop, whatever on my blog for a little bit. And finally, if you draw dragons, uh, I'm looking for artists for something and that 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 will add on the cyber thing too. <laughs> and if you're if you notice below at the bottom of each of my blog posts, the majority of them are links to buy different products on Amazon and it will be relating to you know what I'm talking about in my vlog, my blog post or whatever. So if you actually click on those and buy whatever, you'll help support this blog and I'd hoping that once I get enough money made from the blog to actually pay co-host for my podcast, Keytour and Omar have been doing such a great job and have, <laughs> and even though, you know, I'm, I appear nice and happy on here, sometimes they have to put up with a lot of my shit and they should be paid just for that, never mind the wonderful work they do. And finally, if you're watching this on YouTube, the link, a link in the description, click on it, it's to donate your account, and if you donate your Twitter and or Facebook accounts to my campaign, thank you very much, and uh, I hope you all had a great Valentine's Day, and until next video, goodbye.